That, that's what the Y became, was just a, uh, essential workers and, and first responders child care. While San Angelo's YMCA has been closed for two months, it has provided emergency child care for essential workers. This week, under strict guidelines, they reopened their fitness center, gym, and cardio room at a 25% capacity per room. We had no idea what to expect when we opened up. Uh, we've heard of some YMCA's having, you know, 20, 30 people showed up. Uh, yesterday we had uh, 180 people, first day, so we thought that was a pretty good day. Before entering the building, members receive a temperature check and are asked screening questions. There are sanitation stations in every room, and members must wear gloves while working out. Members are showing, they accept what's going on. And they know they're going to have to have their gloves on and their face masks on. And they're doing those things that they know that that's what they need to become, keep safe and uh, keep healthy. Moore says the Y looks forward to being able to offer the community more programs as the governor's orders loosen. As of now, plans are in place for summer and youth sports programs with social distancing guidelines. We're adapting to it. And that's what we all do. That's how we survive. And that's how the, the country is going to have to do. As long as these guidelines are in place and, and COVID-19 is there, that's what we have to do. For News Connection, I'm Amanda Lozano.